Have you ever lost your job yes. because of a crush of No, and I never would. He would lose his life before I would lose my job. Wow. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I've never killed anybody. Hey everyone, welcome to Unexpert Advice with Darren Karp. I am Darren Karp, and each episode we're gonna be tackling those tough questions that you guys have bombarded me with over the past few weeks. Everything from relationship advice to work advice, we're covering it all here for you. I know you guys have tons of questions that you want answered, and today I brought along two very good friends of mine. Uh, first, we have Taylor Strecker. Taylor and I have known each other two years. I don't know her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should never have invited you on this. I knew this was gonna be bad. <laughs> what do you think of the advice that I give? Is I think it's fantastic. Okay. But that's because like you have no soul, so you don't care if you hurt people's feelings or not. You just tell them like straight up what's going on. I'll yes you to death, so okay, that's so this the role is, I play. This is why we have you. And then to Taylor's right, we have the fantastic Chris Burns, also known oh. as Fat Carrie Bradshaw. Me? What? <laughs> we actually met because you guys asked me to be a part of your podcast, Everyone's Gay. Yeah. We probably met maybe a year ago and fell in love. Feels like forever. Yeah. You're you're kind of quiet with, with your personal well, stuff. Well, there's not a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship advice which tends to be my forte. Mm. And uh, this girl wrote in having a crush on this guy at work. Don't understand. What do we think about crushes at work? Are we thumbs up, thumbs down? What are we going for? Have you guys ever had it? Okay. I'm like, why not? I'm going double thumbs like, up for this not? one. Well, that's not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't you used to work with your girlfriend? Oops, a daisies. Yeah, well, didn't she you? forgot that one. Um, why thumbs down though? Well, I just don't like to shit where I eat. Okay, that's fair. Um, I think it's very, I think it causes more problems than good. And most relationships end. I mean, I'm a divorcee, so I know this for a fact. I, I got really lucky at a young age and got like my dream job and I never wanted to jeopardize that whatsoever. So I had crushes at work, but I never wanted to sleep with any of the guys that I work with because I thought that, you know. Because you're gay. Because I thought mad. I was a lesbian. <laughs> this is a different that's problem. Usually that was when I was straight. Is. But oh, if you're so thumbs down, how did you meet your girlfriend? We were on a work trip. She was my blog videographer. Oh uh -huh. my God. I know, right? That just goes blog to video. Like, wow. And we have to share a hotel room. Yeah, and we were sharing a bed, but when I booked the trip, I was a straight person. And we were best friends and uh -oh. she was my employee. And then mm -hmm. things happened on the trip and that's how we got together. So that's really it. Were you worried about your job? No, because I was the boss who could fire her ass if things went wrong. Well, that's, nice, that's, that's the issue. <laughs> Chris, have you, why are you thumbs up? I, it depends on where you're working. But I will say having a crush on someone and then if it doesn't pan out, it's like not worth the misery. No. But I'm also like, whatever, you only live once. <laughs> That's true. Okay, but with Taylor's that. Taylor's like banging her videographer in a hotel. <laughs> Dating in 2019 with Me Too and social media and everything that's going around, is it even possible to have a crush at work? Would you even tell everyone if you have a crush at work? And should you come out with it to HR immediately and say, I don't want to jeopardize my job, I want to be open and honest, wow. but it feels... It depends in the, the work environment. Entertainment is lackadaisical, and we're a bunch of slurts, you know, so they expect nothing from us. But if I was like a lawyer or a doctor, something respectable, I feel like you're not allowed to f around there. But are you still thumbs up knowing what 2019 is like? I am thumbs up if both parties are adults consenting. Yeah, but like you're so vulnerable, especially when you're the boss, you know? I mean, you right. never know people's intentions. And you have a lot to lose at a job. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, especially if you're lucky enough to get your dream job. There's plenty of fish in the sea. That being said, I'm two thumbs up still of having a crush at work because one, you can't help who you like. Mm -hmm. you, you like who you like, you're attracted to who you're attracted to, and that's it. Yeah, so but I feel like, like you're I feel attracted like this to is everybody. Me so like, how would, what would you do? Guys, I'm being <laughs> shit on over here. I wanna know what you guys think. If you guys have had crushes at work, if they panned out, if they haven't panned out, we both had thumbs up. So like, give me, give me, you've had experience. The first this. guy that I like, so I, when I first moved to the city, I was working at this restaurant and got a crush on someone, yeah. like wildly in love. And we like hung out a lot. And then this new guy started working at the restaurant and he was very hot. No. And so I automatically hated him. Yes. Right. And then he came in one day in the same outfit he wore before. Uh, and the girl that I was doing she was like, are you wearing the same outfit as yesterday? He was like, oh yeah, I slept at <gasps> this kid's. And I was like standing at this table and I broke a piece of the table off of my hand. <laughs> Did you feel that you needed to switch restaurants? I needed or to just, like, better for because you? I was so sad, like going in and seeing, cause we had like discussed things, it was all bad. And so like going to work every day was like, 
making me so sad. Oh. Well, yeah. when I break up with somebody, they like die in my mind. You are gone off the planet. So like that's why- when you're why, seeing them every day. Precisely, right. that's why I can't screw around at work if I can't get away from it. Because so we're never dating. Never. Okay. The pros of having a crush at work. Fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's what exciting else are to go you to work doing? and see that person. It makes work exciting. Yeah. It does. And yes. you like get dressed. You try hard. Does it make you more attentive? Do you, do you find yourself a better worker? No, no very much God. distracted, the opposite. So that's a con, that's right? A con. Also, you don't want to get in trouble. The only I pro like is excitement. Is that what we're saying? The only pro is excitement. And then a potential relationship. Well, and then love. Hopefully, you know? maybe. Well, also, a big pro is we spend our lives at work. Yeah. Like, how do you meet people if you're not meeting people at work? Right. I, like, it makes yeah. sense to be hooking up with people that you work with and having relationships with them. It just does. Let me know if you guys think that these are the right pros or right cons. Is there any more pro than just having excitement at work or anything going but on like there? Because right now, the I, biggest think, pro. I think Who it cares? stands alone and I think it stands against other cons. But think about if that crush goes bad, the potential to lose your job or if you love your job and finding that you can't love it every day, is mm. any crush worth that? Mm, Chris oh. Evans. <laughs> are we saying go for it, take the risk, or are we saying back off? I, for me, I think you should absolutely go for it if your if your job is in the right place to do it. Yes. And you don't necessarily have to see them eight hours a day if it doesn't work out. Yes. But I think there are a lot more risks than pros. Yes. And so there's a little asterisk of depends on where you work and depends on how serious the crush is. I say proceed with caution. Okay. And also think, do I like you better or my job? It really comes down to that. Yeah, it's a question of values. What are you What are you valuing more? If you value the job and it's your dream job when you're right out of college and you never think that you were gonna get it, nothing is gonna be worth that crush. Exactly. I say ask them to happy hour and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm never you know? inviting you guys back again. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching Unexpert Advice with Darren Cart. Make sure you like, subscribe, DM us your questions. You can DM me at Carpe Darren at any single time. I'd be more than happy to tackle those tough questions for you. Keep on watching throughout the week. We're gonna have tons of videos and absolutely submit your questions. Thanks again for watching.